Hello, this is Kent C. Uh, once again, trying to get this information to you guys. Just having some technical difficulties, but here we are once again. Uh, let's see if we can get this done. So, I looked on the internet. There's really no information on the following error you see in front of you. This is kind of spread out there, but it's not really... There's not a lot of solutions, but I'll show you the simple ones that will really help, you know, so you can get this uh, behind you. So as you can see, it's there, and here's the solution. This is tested on Windows 8.1, but a similar fix for Linux was discovered here. Similar program, so it's you, know, you can tell more than just I is having this issue. Here in FTP Rush, we find this person used the ssl.libs for the library files, which is similar to the DLL, the dynamic link library files that we're about to embark upon. You'll need to upgrade uh, your SSL because of the Heartbleed virus that came out recently. You go to this website and uh, scroll down to right there. That's that's the link you want to you want to grab you want to download that and then when you download that go ahead and you know install it and it'll actually give you the files too so I'll show you the this is the first file right here and right here's the second file so you can see the lib eay32.dll that's going to go in your system 32 and your ssl eay32.dll so you're going to need to put that in your system 32 directory if you want that to update for your whole system because this is the new version and like I said you're going to get that from installing this from going to this website the easy way there's other ways to do this, but this is the simple way. So when you do that, we're going to actually do that right now in a program. Okay, this one right here. Okay, so this has old DLL, so you know what? Just go ahead and want to get rid of that. Just make it easy on yourself, because Windows 8 is a little trickier, so go ahead and delete that. Oh, and if you have the program open, go ahead and close it try it again okay so you can see you got rid of that very good we're gonna do the same thing with the other file the SSL EAY32.dll okay go ahead and get rid of that very good now that that's been accomplished we're gonna do the upgrade okay these two files just go ahead and highlight both let's drag them into your directory okay you can see it's asking for permissions you say yes yes Okay, it's moved in there. Okay, so you verify. Oops. You can verify that's now done. You can see both the uh, blue. If I bring this box here a little down there, doing it by GUI, it's not always the best. Bring it down a little more. Okay, very good. And then you can see now that we've got both files in here. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and. Uh, fire this up. I'm just going to put you guys in a quick pause and we'll jump right back in. Okay guys, uh, jumping back now. We're now inside of the FTP uh, client program. The FTP rush is the example here, but as you see now you do it. Okay, you want to have these two files like this. Uh, if you get this error right here, this is the solution that was pretty much, uh, you know, now, I don't want to say discovered, but is the usable solution that I've used that uh, you can't easily find on the internet. There's no information on this. This is really a security issue, but you, know, you might want to think about that with the Heartbleed because it you know, exposes your information, so you might want to be careful. But this is one way to protect yourself, and uh, this works for Windows 8.0, and it should work for Windows 8.1 as well. All right, thank you very much. This is Kenzie. Thank you.